Well, hello there. Yeah. Just there for a wee walk. Get some of those cobwebs out of my head after all that laying out in InDesign. Whew. What a beautiful evening in, what, the 25th of May. Rain out loud. Gorgeous. Takes quite a lot of work to do the magazine in InDesign. Although I've kind of got it down to a system using templates and memory and all that sort of stuff, it's, uh, it comes pretty quick. As long as I've got stories to go into it. And even when I don't, I uh, go ahead and find them somewhere on the internet, on the defense website, on the American websites. Draw them down into my little world and play with them. Uh, put the uh, contact spin on it. Although it's not really spin, is it? I put the contact style. Contact style and tone is what we call it. To get it into, uh, into contact shape. Into the shape that I like. And my theory being, if I like it, then you guys like it. And after 15 years, well, you know, I've got a down pat sort of thing and you guys seem to be liking it, so I'll keep doing what I'm doing. There are some major frustrations though, like for example, some nice photos I found today on the Defence website, a couple of small exercises. I mean they're small in terms of the photo output and they're small in terms of the amount of space that I'd really give to them. But, you know, obviously the guys on the ground don't think it's small, it's hard yakka they're doing. So it's a shame that the coverage they get isn't as big as, you know, as big as it could be really. Um, for example, that uh, exercise jacker run down in Victoria. Uh, that's a pretty cool exercise, especially for reservists who get out and do it hard on the weekends and a couple of weeks a year. And, you know, they're working their asses off, those guys and girls. And uh, so I go along and I look for some coverage and I find you know, a dozen or so photos, good quality photos they were, mind you. But there's never a story to go with them. In this case, I was lucky enough that there was a deep caption, what the fence calls a deep caption. Talking to my millions of fans here. Oh, okay. that's good. <laughs> Hello, fans. <laughs> yeah, so one of, one of those examples is that exercise jacker run down in Victoria, where I stumbled across a dozen or so photos, good quality photos, mind you, but a dozen or so photos, but there's no story to go with them. Except, of course, in this case, there was a reasonable size deep caption, is what they call it. So a uh, deep caption doesn't really tell the story of what those girls, guys and girls are doing down there in Victoria. Um, you know, it tells the strategic, the overarching sort of story about, uh, you know, the brigade and what the brigade's trying to achieve. But, you know, Contact, Contact likes to hear the blood, sweat and tears about the guys and girls on the ground, in the boots, stomping hard. You know, people ask me what's contact about? Well, it's about defense, but it's not about, you know, strategic objectives and all that sort of stuff. Um, yes, we do talk about kit and we do talk about tanks and guns and all that sort of stuff. But when I talk about tanks, Yes, I do want to know how big the donkeys 
And yes, I do want to know how fast it travels. But I want to hear quotes from the guy behind the steering wheel. I want to hear about the guy up in the turret who's sweating his ring gear out, uh, barreling across the paddocks, bouncing his head off the top of the turret. I want to know about the blood, sweat and tears. I don't want to know about strategic commitments and interoperability and all those buzzwords. So anyway, look, I'm, I'm drifting. Contact is tricky to put together. It's a balancing act between what's available and what I can find and what I can get and what I can go out and collect. So I've got to sit there and I've got to balance that, get the words right, get the style and tone right, uh, edit photos if they're not quite up to snuff, edit photos just to make them look more spectacular in a magazine, uh, and then do the layout. You know, it's not just a case of throwing photos on a page and throwing words on a page and hope they all fall in the right place. It takes hours of sitting there and uh, fiddling and nuancing to get things balanced and even and aesthetically pleasing and all that sort of stuff which I'm not actually trained to do I've just picked it up over the years from looking at other other people doing it looking at internet at uh, YouTube videos of people doing it I also learned an awful lot from a guy called Tony Kelly who um, who was our professional layout guy for most of the time while we printed um, and then when we stopped printing I took over from Tony and I felt I was ready for it so you know I, I, I hark back to Tony's um, layouts from time to time I borrow and copy from Tony uh, to do my stuff and I really enjoy it it's uh, the process is is what it, what's the word cathartic I like doing it sometimes I leave it a little too late in the month to get on with it uh, but I've never missed a deadline it always comes out on the first day of March June September and December and I've never once missed a deadline for any reason and I won't do it this time either so anyway I'm out for a walk taking a break I'm a little bit more than halfway through it for June. It's now the 25th of May, which means I've got six days, seven days. I've got seven days. Next Saturday it goes out. I've got seven days to do the rest of it. But I've got the back broken. I'm over the hump. I have done some of the little tricky fiddly ones that take up a lot of time done a couple of big ones that took up a lot of time and I've also produced these videos in the meantime uh, one example was um, there was one layout I can't remember which one but a couple of days ago uh, the actual layout in the magazine took me four hours but the editing of the video about laying it out took me six hours so I've added a bit of pressure to myself on this occasion, but anyway. Um, so, it's nearly dark, I better get off, get out, get home, get some more work done. Watch the rabbits playing football tonight. Go rabbits! Okay, I'm out of here.